Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and um, this is an interesting uh, video about you know something that has been going on, and I get tons and tons of comments about this every year, every month. It's been going on since the beginning of you know Windows 10 appearing on our computers, and I not. I don't think it has ever really um, gotten down, and, and even today I still, you know, there's at least one or two or three comments a day where people say, well, you know, I'm not going to use this, it's a privacy problem, and Microsoft snoops and gives government details of us, and so on, which is honestly total nonsense, and, and Microsoft has absolutely no uh, no reason to do so, they don't care, actually, and, but but that said, and I'll give my opinion anyways here. Of course, I will get tons of people saying, well, you are wrong. But the uh, thing is, Windows 10 introduced controversy with privacy when in 2015 it was launched. One has to do with Cortana being an app that was integrated into search and so an assistant into your search and integrated into Windows, oh, that, that, that was a bad thing that Cortana had to be snooping on us. Well, I got news on you. A assistant needs to send back information to a company to, in order to work. It doesn't work magically in, in your device. When you ask, you know, Alexa or Siri or Google Assistant um, something, your request is sent to that company. And that company, AI environment, sends back what the response should be from that assistant. And that's no different for Cortana. Can't work on its own. It doesn't have the knowledge. It needs to use a database and some AI or artificial intelligence to work. Well, because it was integrated into Windows, that was a privacy problem for a lot of people. Um, you know, Microsoft has a problem with privacy because it unfortunately is unable to speak out correctly when it wants to speak or talk about something. You know, if I would change something on Microsoft, I would put PR people out there that are much better at explaining to us the why of Windows is like this. And not be secretive or use weird words that you're like, what? Okay, well, that's the proof. That's the proof they're snooping and so on. Another side that, you know, made Windows um, with its privacy settings. And, and, you know, in the settings panel, we've got a privacy tab. And that privacy tab has to deal with every little thing that has privacy-related stuff. And they, they tweak this. They try to make it better. They try to make it in a, a different way to try to you know, help understand that you can, because, you know, if you turn off the majority of the privacy options and put the telemetry at basic, the amount of snooping in reality in Windows is extremely low. And I always get, well, you know, well, no operating system other than Windows is snooping on us. Yes, Apple's OS 10 is snooping on you. Uh, Linux snoops on you. And actually, there are so many people that had controversy with different distros because they're sending out telemetry to see how the operating system behaves. Every operating system does that. It sends out a certain amount of telemetry. And of course, people take that for snooping rather than taking that like, well, by having information about how your PC is working, we are able to make changes and to see what doesn't go right and what you're doing uh, to improve the future of whatever functionality everybody's using. But they don't identify you. One of the things that has got to be said, and, you know, I got that uh, all the time. People say, well, you know, they send telemetry, they know what you're doing, they erase your, uh, they know that you have, you know, pirated games, and no, they don't. And more than that, the telemetry is anonymized. It is totally anonymized. 
What does that mean? It means that you're assigned a number. So say on Microsoft, you're assigned number 1044. So 1044 will report different things regularly. So they know, oh, 1044 yesterday had a crash and 1044 today had a different crash and 1044 today did that. But 1044 is as far as the identifi identification goes. It, it isn't linked to you. It's linked only to 1044 is a physical machine that has this configuration and uh, this is the information we're getting from the OS about how it crashes or not or whatever things is happening in there. And of course, if you have the telemetry in Windows set to um, full, you're sending more stuff in the diagnostics and feedback. And if it's basic, you're sending less information back. Could they identify you from the telemetry and from the uh, settings in here? Technically, if you're at full, there is a slight possibility. And the slight possibility is because full, if you have, say you have a blue screen, your PC crashed. <clears throat> full means that what is in RAM is going to be imaged. So they're going to take all the bits that were in the RAM memory. Now, most of the time in the RAM memory, there's nothing really personal in there. But say that you are consulting emails or say that you are using a, a, a specific app where you got, you know, more information about yourself. Technically, in the full settings, there is a slight possibility that in the RAM image they got, a uh, personal detail came up. So that is a slight possibility. In the basic settings, there's no possibility because all that is sent is basic telemetry. They're not taking that image of the RAM memory or anything. So they have just the basic and you're back at being just 1044. And who is 1044? Well, apart from, you know, um, knowing maybe a country or a region, they can't, they, they can't um, you know, trace that back to you specifically. You're just a number somewhere in the world rather than a, pe a person that they know that you are physically at that location. And of course, you can tweak that. You can, you know, I, I leave it at full because I don't care. I don't, you know, I don't believe in all the conspiracy theories of Microsoft using whatever I do to, to tell the world and governments, whatever, because it doesn't work like that. And honestly, big companies do not like to be tied to that because it is a controversy. And if Microsoft tomorrow morning, we would learn that the government is snooping on all of us through Windows would be hard hit by that. And, you know, I always say, yeah, well, then why did Microsoft so many times go to court against the government to stop them from asking and snooping on users? You know, it doesn't work like that. Whatever you think uh, and whatever you feel, the important thing is just check your settings. Um, you know, put your telemetry at basic if you're kind of worried that what could come out. Um, you know, it's also has to do with a lot of what exactly would they care about your personal life, honestly. You know, I'm thinking of just my own life. What the hell do they care about what I'm doing on my PC? I can't even see one bit of information of that that something that I do that would be important. Now, keep in mind that I live in Canada and you know, it's not the same. It's not the same on every in every country around the world. But um, I think there's an over hype of, you know, all the privacy. But once again, you know, you want to tweak that, simply go to your settings, go into privacy. Uh, you can, you know, switch off a lot of the stuff from the privacy.
tabs, you can go into the diagnostics and feedback and, you know, remove, uh, put the, the telemetry to basic. No, you can't turn it off. Uh, but, you know, it's, um, it's kind of interesting. And remember, in the uh, diagnostics data they sent, if you want to really, really remove it, you can click delete. And this will actually delete the diagnostics data that Microsoft has in its servers. And that will, you know, end any telemetry that was there. Of course, it will continue going there. So you have to do this every day if you really want to remove everything every day. But um, like I said, I'm not the one that's going to go crazy over privacy in Windows. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.